Hi everybody, hope you are all fine. This is Atik. I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. Dear students, let us discuss now the topic Asymptotic Notations. So these asymptotic notations are a part of the topic time complexity. So already we know time complexity is nothing but the amount of time taken by the algorithm for execution. And to represent the time complexity in detail, three notations are used. Those three notations are called as asymptotic notations. So what is the use of this asymptotic not notations? Let us discuss now. Asymptotic notations are used to write fastest and slowest possible running time for an algorithm. We know that whenever an algorithm is being executed, then the algorithm can execute in a less amount of time, the algorithm can execute in a high amount of time or if possible the algorithm can execute in a average amount of time also. So in order to represent those cases, asymptotic notations are used. Now these are also referred to as the best case and the worst case. So if our algorithm is being executed very fast, then it is the best case for an algorithm. And if the algorithm is taking too much of time to execute, it is very slow, then we can use the word worst case here. Now based on this concept, asymptotic notations are used here. So these notations are used to calculate the running time complexity of an algorithm. So dear students, there are three types of asymptotic notations. How many types? Three types. Number one, big O notation. Okay. Number one, we are having big O notation. Second representation is omega notation. And the third one, we are having theta notation. Ome big O notation, omega notation and theta notation. So, the symbols have been represented in the parenthesis also. Okay, sir. These three notations are there. As you told that whenever we execute an algorithm, three cases will come. What are those three cases? We will get best case. Next we will get average case. And then we will get worst case. Okay. So, if, if our algorithm has taken less time to execute which means and it is an efficient algorithm that is best case if our algorithm has taken lot of time for execution very slow worst case if our algorithm has taken average time for execution average case now to represent these three cases of time complexity these three notations are used now the question is big o notation is used for which case Omega notation is used for representing which case. Theta notation is used to represent which case. Now, let me tell you now. Big O notation is used to represent the worst case. So, how much amount of time the algorithm has taken. That is represented in worst case by using big O notation. Similarly, Omega notation is the notation which represents the time complexity achieved in best case. And the last one, Theta notation, it is used to represent the time complexity in average case. For example, let us say one of my algorithm, this is my algorithm and this algorithm has taken, once I have executed this algorithm, it has taken time 0 0.3 milliseconds, one case, another case 0 0.6 milliseconds and another case 0 0.9 milliseconds. Okay. Now, this 0 0.3 milliseconds, I can relate it as a best case. Okay. Average case, I can relate it as a 0 0.6 milliseconds. And the worst case, I can relate, as, relate to as the 0 0.9 milliseconds. So, dear students, to represent these three cases of time complexity, we will use this asymptotic notations. So, this is very, very important topic even in competitive exam also. You will get multiple bits asking to represent what type of notation used to represent different type of cases. So you need to answer this correctly. So with this, let me close my today's session of video. See you soon everybody. Take care. Allah Hafiz.